So my cute new neighbor just knocked to ask if he could borrow an egg from us. Then he asked if I could summarize to him how pancakes are made. Now I'm going over to his place and teach him how to make them. Cute neighbor now knows how to make pancakes. Does cute new neighbor know anything else? My number? Ship it! Things public school kids take way too seriously. Jeopardy, review games, kickball, and spirit week. Oh my god, this post is so American, I don't even know what half these things are. Psst, 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 psst. You kill anyone, Catboy? That's between me and God. I don't have my glasses, and I thought this was a squirrel. I mean, yeah. Stop bringing your evangelism to skateboarding class, Frank. It's skate or die, not skate or die for my sins. Separation of church and skate. This image is way funnier considering that this is Egypt, and this snow was the first snow they got in 112 years. This man waited 112 years to slam dunk that snowball on this man's head. Worth it. Ugh, kids are just like... <laughs> until one day they're like, oh shit, I can think. And then it's all downhill from there. This helpful stingray offered itself up as a tent for a diver who decided to have to lie down in a seabed at Grand Cayman. <gasps> Blinky! A sea blanky! Don Featherstone, creator of the Plastic Lawn Flamingos, 1957. Okay, he looks exactly how you would picture the creator of Plastic Lawn Flamingos to look. Today I learned the Greek philosopher Plato's real name is unknown, as Plato is his wrestling name. Oh my god, it's the rock in 2500 years. Plato means broad in Greek! There are recorded instances in Aristotle's notes of Plato settling debates by standing up and flexing! He was an Olympic gold medal wrestler. Dude, imagine reading Jumbo's dialogues, or the big dude's theory of ideas, or fuck huge McMike's allegory of the cave. <laughs> I just found out that it's stress awareness week. Well, mission accomplished. I am certainly fucking aware of stress. Thanksgiving is canceled in 2020. Instead, November will be a month of Dionysian madness. Casting curses, moonlight revelry, dubious self-care methods, ritual sacrifice, and mashed potatoes. And we're off to an excellent start! Big fan of the way moles sit in dirt with their arms out like they're in a hot tub. Look at this. Decadence. I sterilized my cat so she wouldn't have any babies. And then she brought one from the street. You cannot prevent me from raising a family. I am Mother!